bringing you the random video today. We're going to talk about the new Mermel card coming out of Circuit Breaker, which is the set coming after uh, Code of the Duelist. Uh, so let's just jump right into it because we got a lot. To, we got a few things to talk about with this card because it is a very, very strong Mermel card. So this card is called Mermel Abyss Nierd or Nier Abyss. It's a level 3 water aqua type effect monster with 1200 attack and 2000 defense, and you can only use the effect of this card once per turn. You can, you can only use both effects of this card once per turn. The, set, the first effect is during either player's turn, you can discard this card, then target one water monster you control. Destroy another water monster in your hand or field, and if you do, tar the targeted water monster gain, uh, gains attack and defense equal to the original attack and defense of that destroyed monster until the end of the turn. So basically what this card does is you uh, destroy a mermail in your hand uh, that's preferably of a decent size or if it, that's actually kind of okay and then you kind of just blow up your uh, or, or you just or, or a water monster in, in general you blow up a water monster in general in your hand like Gamma Seal or something like that or Moon, Moon, Moon and Glacius and just make your uh, weaker monsters just complete mad powerhouses which is really insane it's a quickie effect so it's once per turn it's it's during either player's turn um, so if you if your opponent decides to attack into your monsters you can be like oh hey I'm just going to discard this card in, or uh, I'm just going to target this card destroy my Moon and Glacius or my uh, Aqua Spirit or my uh, Genex or Genex uh, Undyne, and he's going to gain a, 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 a decent amount of attack, depending on what I discarded. Um, it's it's pretty good. It also, I think it comes well with with the, the entire deck. It's during since it's during the player's turn, you can play it on your turn as well, which is really good because um, it allows you to fill your graveyard. I think uh, to do the combo still, the, OT, uh, the OTK combo. I think you only need like two water monsters, and it can be any two water monsters, uh, as, as long as one of them is Neptibus, uh, or uh, or Dragons. Um, but yeah, I think this is a very good effect. The second effect is if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, draw one card, and then discard one card from your hand. That's pretty good. Uh, it's sad, the downside is it has to be sent to the graveyard, which is really weird, and I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's... That's uh, a little bit of a hindrance, but I think it's still a very good effect to, uh, if this card dies, it replaces itself in a way. Um, and I think that whatever you discard could potentially be beneficial. Um, whether this will be a resurgence in Mermails, after all, Norden did just get hit in the TCG. And uh, I'm not sure if uh, that will make or break the archetype yet. Um, I think right now, I think because of Norden being so significant in the deck, I think it'll be a little bit less prominent. But we might see a resurgence in, in, in Mermails just because of this card in the future. Um, however, I think right now, I think it's going to be safe to say that without Norden, the deck is going to be a little bit weaker. But we will definitely see, like I said, but we will also definitely see a slight resurgence. We'll see people who are going to test test this deck out because Mermail players are adamant about this deck being really, uh, really, really good. It's kind of like Black Wings. People are really fa fanatical about Black Wings. Mermails are kind of the same thing, um, but Mermails is actually really decent and it's still a kind of a pretty good deck. Um, so yeah. Anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Team Menomophos, and I'll be signing out.